David Hood with TigerNet.com. Mm -hmm. uh, getting hurt at the end of last year, missing the spring. What did you learn from that? What was your takeaway from it? You know, what were what was your biggest takeaway, I guess? Um, the biggest takeaway for me definitely was just never take advantage of my op I mean, never take advantage of the opportunity. I mean, like, don't take my opportunity for um, granted, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I work really hard, and, you know, now that I have my opportunity to play again, you know, I won't take it for anything anymore, you know what I'm saying? Everything I do is for love now, you know? So definitely just don't take anything for granted and just, you know, really work hard and love what I'm doing. John Blau with the what, what exactly was it? Yeah, so I tore my MCL, my uh, MPFL, because my kneecap uh, fell out and went back in, and then I tore a part of my patella. Yeah. Oh, it was pretty intense, but, you know, I, the way I look at it is, like, it's something I had to deal with, you know what I'm saying? And if I had a bad attitude about it, I know I wouldn't have got back the way I did. So I attacked it every day, you know, and I made it aggressive for myself because, you know, this is the time I felt like, you know, I truly got to work on myself, my body, you know what I'm saying, really lock in on something. And my focus is just way better than it has been the previous two years just because of this. So I knew I really had to take advantage of the opportunity to get better and really just focus on my rehab, and that's what it allowed me to do. Marcus, uh, Cole Girard, <laughs> Can you give us like the biggest difference like you playing in this year's offense compared to last year's offense like bring Coach Riley in? Uh, the biggest difference I would say is definitely just like the tempo of the offense and also like, you know, it's more creative, I would definitely say. So, you know, we're getting our playmakers the ball in space more often. So it really takes a lot of pressure off for the O line because we have a lot lighter boxes, I ain't gonna lie. But um for me, uh, I just think it's it's more the tempo is faster and we're able to play more aggressive and more free in this offense for sure, because we have more uh, saying what we're doing and, you know, pass protection and stuff like that, so, for sure. Tristan Long, just, how is Tristan Lee been doing at the left tackle spot, and what changes have you seen in him this week? I mean, his work ethic is second to none. I mean, y'all got to see the way the man has been working this offseason. I think he's really took it serious about this opportunity that he was given, um, and I see it every day. He cares, and that's one thing, like, you know, you you – can't take that from anybody, you know, saying if you care, you know, I can respect that. And he, he's really taking advantage of his opportunity. He's working every day and he's looking good. I, I'm, I'm pulling for him. Marcus, Maggie, Maggie, it's uh, when were you back to full strength? Was it maybe late spring, early summer? Yeah, I'd say around May is when I got cleared for sure. Um, but I, I was feeling good around April. Like, like I feel like if I, if the spring game was a real game, I think I could have made a push to play that game for real. But, um, yeah, I mean, I tag rehab pretty hard, so I got, I was pretty much ready. Be, I had a schedule, but yeah, around May, I would say I was full go. You feel like you being out was kind of a blessing elsewhere because it kind of allowed Tristan that opportunity to sort of show that maybe he could do it during the spring? I mean, I think it was a blessing for the young guys, too. Like, um, when I was out in spring, you know, Harris Sewell was getting first-team reps. Mitchell Mays was getting more reps. And that's one thing we need here is to build more depth. You know, our starting five played 106 reps against Tennessee. You know, I don't think we're really trying to do that this year. So, you know, we really give those guys more opportunity. And, yeah, for sure, that was the blessing in that, for sure. Well, through the, the weight room the other day and see Cleveland and A.D. and all those NFL guys, even if you don't know if you've seen or he, what was it like having those NFL guys around this summer, really the whole summer, working out for you guys that are still here? I, I say it's not sort of a blessing. I mean, for me, like I, I paid attention to Christian Wilkins. I mean, this man had an aggressive routine. He attacked his, his routine very aggressively. And you know, I've talked to him a few times, and you know, he always took the time out of his day to you know, give me advice and all that. And the way he worked, it was inspiring. And I know well, that's what it takes to be a pro. You know, that's what I had to really lock into that because that's what I want to be one day. So just having them around and seeing how they worked every day, and they attacked it aggressively, were focused, and it never changed. I mean, you can't ask for nothing about that, especially if I'm trying, where I'm trying to go. I can't ask for nothing better than that. Have a coach here pushing. It's all just his own personal motivation. I mean, he was working with a coach, but that was all him. I mean, you know what I'm saying? He's been locked in, and even when I got here, they said he was like that, and I've seen it firsthand now. You know what I'm saying? So he's no joke, and I just respect him taking his time to give me advice and all that for sure. Do you think it's still a possibility you could move out to left tackle? Or? Um, you know, I'm just focused on, you know, playing what they put me at right now. You know, I worked at both this offseason because I know I, I had, there's an opportunity that, that might. I might come up, but you know, right now I'm just focusing on where they put me at. You know, if it's left guard, I'm gonna give him my best shot at left guard, and if it's left tackle, I'm gonna be the le best left tackle I could be. I'm prepared to do both. Have you been able to cross train? Yeah, so like an individual that definitely gave me some reps at tackle, just you know, just to stay sharp there. But most of my reps are coming at guard right now for sure. But I'm prepared to do whatever. But yeah, they're giving me reps at both.
Because with all, oh, I'm Scott Keith with the Green Bay with, with almost everyone back in the offensive front, there must be a, a heightened comfort level than ever before. Definitely. I mean, me. I mean, I, I would just say at least for me, a uh, putt like we. We pretty much know what we're doing every play. Like I know what he's doing, how he's attacking every play, and he's gonna have to tell me. So it just makes everything easier. We're a very close group. Like even you know the backups and the starters. Like we do everything together, and I think like you're gonna see it this year. Like we play for a lot of love for each other. It's not just us going out there doing it for our own thing. So that's one thing I think you'll see this year: just the love that we have for each other, and the type of commodity that we have as O line. Yeah, I think we definitely, you know, made Will have to take the game and look at it from more of a mental side. And, you know, it's not just, you know, being physical anymore. It's all the techniques, what everybody's doing, game plan and all that. And he's he took that very seriously. And him having the control on what we're doing now, I think it, it's easier for us because we see things on that happen on the fly that the quarterback not, might not see, the coach might not see. So just giving him that freedom, I think it helps the whole line as a whole, you know, and he's, he's a huge leader for us. You know, he... He's o he's open about ways he's not scared to talk. So I mean, for him, he's really took that next step and you know understanding the offense, understanding defenses at that, and I think it's gonna help out big time for this offense, especially for like, with Cade coming, you know, being his first year as a starter. You mentioned the, the tempo being pushed more. What does that mean for the line in terms of your preparation through the off season, you know, and the heading into? into I mean. If, Realistically, I think that's always been our advantage for Clemson is our, we pushed the tempo. Even last year, you see when we pushed it, like no team was stopping us. And, you know, with Coach Austin, you know, our individual is very aggressive. It's probably the hardest part of practice, and it's just nonstop. And we're conditioned. I think that's our advantage. We're more conditioned than most teams, most D-lines, and we're, and we're kicking butt when we're moving fast. So pushing the tempo even more this year, especially the way Kay pushes it because he's a little bit more high tempo, is crazy. Crazy work's about to happen. Offensive lines, one of those units. Did you have to have chemistry? So Will said you had drill and chill with swimming over the summer. So what was that? That or Cade renting a party bus and taking all you guys to drink? I mean, I would say, I mean, I love both the experiences, oh, man. You know, Kay, that was really much a blessing. He didn't have to do that. So for him to do that, I mean, you know, that really shows his respect for us. And that's making me going to want to play harder for him because, you know, he took his time out to do that. And just for the O-line, I mean, of course, we're going to love doing that. We do everything together. It's not like, that's not the only thing we've ever done together. So, I mean, but just that alone, you know, I think that just shows the type of love that we have for each other. And you're going to see it this season for sure. Nah, I wasn't there for that one. <laughs> I was, I, I'm pretty much to myself a lot of the time, you know, because you know I just like chilling a lot of the time in my house and you know watching TV or doing something else. But yeah. <laughs> How fun is it to block for backs like Will and Phil? Uh, it's amazing. I mean, it's a blessing for me. Will and Phil are my best friends. You know, they were my roommates the last two years, and I'd do anything for them. So just the opportunity. And I know I, when I'm blocking for them, it's not just you know doing my job. It's like I want to make sure they're safe. I want to see them succeed, and that's why I do it for it. I love them boys to death, and I'll do anything for them. Are they pretty different personality-wise from each other? Yeah, yeah, big time. I mean, if you talk to Phil, Phil's, you know, real mellow. You know, he's going to talk to you with a soft voice, but he don't play like it. And in Ship, you know, he got that, you know, pit bull mentality. He's coming at you. He's tacky. He's loud, and I love it. You know, he gets me going, and I, I, got, I try to match his energy every day for sure. So, yeah, definitely two different personalities, though. What is it like when Phil turns on that sideline? We saw a video. I mean, it's electric. I mean, I know y'all feel it when y'all see him do it. I mean, I feel it too. And he, as his best friend, knowing that hey, how he is, I just try to match it because that's the type of energy that we need as a team. And he brings it every day. It's consistent. And since it is consistent, I can't knock him for it. You know what I'm saying? Because he doesn't have to be that way. And he is. And I love it. And it brings a lot of energy for me and the rest of the offensive line. 100% all the time. He'd be barking at me in the house sometimes. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just who Ship is. But man, I love Ship. And he does it, and does it every day for sure. Yeah, I just want to be more dominant. I think, you know, that's one thing I needed to work on is my aggressiveness from the past two years. And I, I saw it more last year. And I just want to build build upon it. Um, and that's just my mentality. It's just, you know, finishing every rep, putting them in the ground, and just doing that consistently. And that starts in practice. And I feel like I've, that's what I've been trying to work on this year. And, this, and since I've got back in camp, just working that and, you know, finishing every play through the whistle for sure. And just loving the game more, you know. Like, I, I really love football. And I, getting injured, you know, really gave me the opportunity to find my love for the game and never take it for granted. Like the big boy lifestyle, and he has a relationship with the 
offensive line? Like, how would you describe, you know, Riley? Yeah, it's definitely different, you know what I'm saying? Like, he, he just, the way he came at it, he just, you know, it was a different perspective from a coach, you know, really showing that much love to the O-line. And, you know, I appreciate it. And it's easy to take culture from him because, you know, you see that it's genuine and it's not him just trying to do his job. He's just, it's a really genuine relationship that he has with all the offensive linemen. He's cool people. He's really laid back. And I like that cool because it's cool. He's missing around with you and all that. So, yeah, it's, that's been really cool just to have that relationship with him. And it's, I see how genuine it is. It's not him just doing his job, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, and it don't even be about football sometimes. It's just, you know, just about whatever. And he, he'll mess around with you and all that, and I like that because I'm a little goofy too, so. Oh, yeah, you definitely do. If you ain't ready, I mean, yeah, that football's in your face. So, yeah, he keeps you on your toes for sure. Why does he do that? I think he just tries to see where you're at, where you're, if you're focusing. Um, I think he does do it to mess with you, obviously. But, yeah, I think he wants to see if you're ready and if you focus and, you know, you got your head on the swivel, like how you have to keep it on the football field. Run the ball, yes, yeah. I mean, I love running the ball. I think you know we're bi we're a very good team at it. The offensive line loves it, and it gives us opportunity to be aggressive and establish our dominance. And we get more confidence when we, the more we do it. So I mean, just the opportunity that we have to do that and do it more this year, I think it's going to be it's going to be some good things out of that. Anybody else for Marcus before we go?